Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm just heading over to meet Johnny, the rep from Salamander Pumps, because I've got a job out in the sticks um, at a property that is fed off a single main, which is feeding three other houses. Now, when I say the three other houses, they're three other massive, great big properties. For instance, the one that I'm working at has got, from memory, I think it's four bathrooms, and around five en suites, something like that. So I've spoke to um, the rep of Salamander and said to him, look, these customers, they're struggling with water pressure coming in. They've got pressure, but it drops off and it's just not great. So the customers asked me if we could put a booster tank in, accumulator tanks in. Um, I've done this before on properties, you know, but nowhere near this size. So I spoke to Johnny, the rep, and said to him, would you meet me on site? and go through every option with us. Um, I'd rather get a rep to spec it so we know it's perfect, rather than just go, this one I think's gonna do because of the amount of bathrooms and whatnot I need. It could be a little bit tricky. So let's go over here now, meet up with Johnny. Hopefully they'll let us film the sort of, the first part of it, which is this, which is Johnny working out exactly the size of the tanks that we need. So I'm just trying to bat on my way through some early morning traffic to try and meet up with him at a local cafe or fairly local to me cafe so we can grab a coffee and head over to the property and take a look at what booster tanks we can fit So, as you may well know, this channel is sponsored by Unilight. They've sponsored the channel now for probably, coming up for two years. What they'll do with me, every now and again, they'll give me the option of picking a product. The last one was that, the 1750. Pick a product and they'll do me a mega deal on it. So, I've got you a mega deal on the SLR 1450. These retail for 90 quid. Unilight have done me a deal, 50 quid delivered for these. I'll quickly run over exactly what it's like. These are perfect for underneath sinks. Stick it up or even use the carabiner a bit, connect it to something if there's a pipe hanging down or whatever. But the good thing with this one is, this swivels round. So it is perfect for underneath sinks or in cupboards or anything like that. And also, this one comes with a removable battery, which also acts as a power bank. So, just whip the battery out of it and you'll see there, if you can see it, is a little Type-C charger. So you've got a removable power pack. I use my phone, charge my phone up or my GoPro or whatever. But yeah, they've done me a deal on it. 50 quid, usually retails for 90 quid. I'll put the link in the description below. 50 quid delivered, bag yourself a nice little SLR 1450 from Unilight. It's not going to be cheaper anywhere else. So pick one up while you can. So I've met up with the reps from Salamander, we've come to the property and what we've got to basically do is the incoming main is coming in just behind this box in here. You can just make out there what we're looking at doing is putting inside here one of the, is it a tank, it's a tank boost isn't it we're going to go for? Yeah. Going to go for a tank boost in here because this property has got, what do we work it out to? Six bathrooms. Uh. Six this. bathrooms, two toilets, utilities. So we've got six bathrooms, two toilets, two utility, kitchen. two kitchens, an annex down the far end. Um, so this is outside why it's key, taps. outside taps about eight of them, something like that. Um, this is why it's key to get the reps in to just completely confirm what we need. So we've been around and looked at the cylinder, the boiler, we've got a combi feed in the annex down there, but that's still being fed off the same main, so that's got to be taken into account as well. So what Johnny is going to do is take some readings outside now of the pressure, the flow, then we can work out exactly 
what system we're going to have put in. So we've been inside and we've looked around everywhere, seen what um, what the boiler specs are, cylinder specs are. So on this property, the incoming mains is here, but obviously as you can see, it's feeding all of that, and then down the end we've got a massive annex as well. So what Johnny's got to do now is just take a reading. What do you want to know on this then, John? This is just checking the flow rate on this one. That's not bad at all, is it? Around about the 20 litre a minute mark. That 20 one. litres? Yeah. So that is right next to the incoming range just down there. But like what Johnny said is, you're going to get more pressure and flow direct, you know, as the first pull off from the main. But as we move right down to the far end of the property in a minute, you'll see the difference on it. So what's the pressure at? Just over three bar. Just over three bar yeah. at that. So, as I said, that's the first one, give or take off the main. We'll go down the far end. Bearing in mind then, inside here, you've got your six bathrooms, your two kitchens, your three en suites or whatever it is. So as the water's moving down that property, you're gonna be losing pressure, losing flow, all the way right down to the end. So that was the first one here. We're probably halfway up the building now. There's another outside tap here. So just for a comparison, it's all running on the same main. What we've got there, John? About nine litres a minute, I'm saying. Nine litres. What was yeah. it there? About 20? 20, yeah. So you've lost 11 litres a minute flow up to the halfway point in that property. So this is the annex bit. So this is a standalone. It's got a combi running this side. But again, it's just still running off that same main. And then pressure-wise, what was it up there? Just over three. Dot on two. Dot on two. So again, a bar of pressure halfway up the building. So we'll go to the far end now, see what we've got down there. And here we go, this is down the far end of the building. So we'll see what we've got here. Don't when you get so in don't there. get my shoes wet again. So it's dropped right off again, isn't it? About six litres a minute. So again, now we're right down the far end. All the way over there is where the inquiry main is. We've come all the way through the end of the annex here. And we'll see what pressure we've got now. Hmm. Just over two. Just over two here. Yeah. And then finally, we've got an outside tap here on one of the outbuildings and one here as well. So we've got two outside taps on this outbuilding, which is quite a way away from the house, but again, still fed off the same main. So just to be completely thorough, we're going to run a little check on this one. Not too bad, is it? Yeah, roughly about eight litres a minute. Eight litres a minute. Yeah. But again, that but that shows that there's enough pressure to keep them tanks half topped up. I suppose. You know, if you've got a decent pressure, I mean, that's not too bad, but yeah, it's not great for the property they've got. But it's a decent enough pressure to regenerate them tanks, isn't it? When yeah, they're using it. Yeah, because it'll constantly be filling up as as it's pumping out at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Luckily, he's not filling his lake up with it, so we're all good. Well, well, at least we don't think so. He might have the O's topping the lake up, you never know. <laughs> so it's that just under two, Just isn't below it? two, yeah. Yeah. So we've got readings right near the main, incoming mains, all the way through the building, and then to the outbuilding. And it is just dropping off gradually as you go through. So what we do now then, John, you'll go and send that information away to your yeah. technical team yeah. and just see what's best. Just just get a little bit of further information, a yeah. bit more yeah. bit more info and then we'll, we'll come up with a spec, yeah. So, so we'll leave that with Salamander. Johnny will send that off and, you know, a few days or a week or so, we'll get some proper information on exactly what tank boost we're going to put in there, whether we need a, an extra tank or what. The technical team will have a look over it and just let us know exactly what we need for that property. So there we go, thanks to Johnny and Brian from Salamander for coming out and having a look over that job. They're going to go away now, speak to their technical team and see exactly what tanks or even accumulators or what we're going to put into that property to give them the right sort of pressure and flow that they need because even though they've got half decent flow, if they start using one of the six bathrooms or one of the 
you know the annex or or anything like that there is a fluctuation within the uh, the flow and the pressure of the water but with them tanks in it will keep it a constant pressure and a constant flow so as soon as that comes back i can then get that back to the customer get a quote into them but to be honest howard the owner there has basically said to me i want you to do the job anyway so as soon as that comes in and we get started on it obviously i'm going to film it all so make sure you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that video and all the other videos that i put out um, hit the like button hit the subscribe button drop me a comment below all that jazz 